Let's now update our theme color. So under theme settings, click colors. And here you will be able to edit any, um, any uh, color such as button colors, font colors, link colors, background and so on. So primary accent will need to locate which are these. So for example, these are those green primary, primary accents. We can edit it and we can preview the changes right away. So you can see the changes are instantly. So we'll leave this kind of nice green. Uh, header and icon. So let's see where they are. Okay. Header icons. So header icons could be the uh, the card icon and other icon color. So let's update it, and you can see the color changed instantly primary heading text, so I can update it as well. So for example, I can make it like in this color, I can make it in a green color. Okay, let's give a green color. Uh, primary body text, obviously it will be product descriptions and this kind of text as well. So I can also update it, for example, change to green. Or other color. Mm, also, don't be too fancy. This is just uh, this is just an introductory video, but uh, don't be too fancy with font colors. Don't be too like you know creative. You still have to think about user experience, which will affect yourself. So, be um, be kind of cautious or uh, on the cautious side when designing commercial website, because this is not a personal blog. So you have to have different approach when it comes to design, colors, and so on. Mm, now footer text, it is white at the moment because the footer is black, but I don't like black footer So I can change the black footer background to, for example, this light or this background and I'll change either leave the footer text white or I can change it to slightly darker like for example this one and button label, I'm not sure if there's any button in the footer yet. However, yeah, I don't see changing. Um, okay, so maybe it's not it's not a hmm, it's not a footer button. However, it could be. Oh yeah, so this could be one of those buttons. So obviously the text within the button. So I would see to dark, so you can see how it changes to white. Yeah. There we go, header background. So if you want to change the background of the header, so for example, this one, I think it's this one, let's have a look. And now, so it's this panel, you can change it here. You can make it this color. Footer background, so it's almost the same as footer background, so it will be nicely matched main background i i discard from using colorful backgrounds i i recommend sticking to normal white background secondary backgrounds obviously those elements here and here i don't like this gray so i'll change it i think it's this one isn't it yeah sometimes sometimes you have to test which are which actually elements you're changing so I think it's this one, right? Oh yeah, you can see it now. So these are the secondary backgrounds. Okay, so it's loads of them. Let's have a look. Let's go for like milder color. Okay, I like that so far. Obviously those images will be changed. And other colors, so product cards. So let's have a look if I can show you how it looks. So product card, obviously, I think it's the um, the um, the main background color of the product. Where are we? Colors, product cards. 
So this is the yeah the the background of the products because I picked the images with transparent background they look like that but the majority of the product images you will be adding will have their own background however you can you you can add secondary background if you wanted to highlight highlight the product I don't recommend using it because it kind of gives you a little bit too gimmicky design however you know if it works for a particular look you want to go for this this is definitely an option. I'll just select none. Okay, form element. So if someone contacts you, let's say via the contact us page, this will be the background of the form. I haven't added contact us page yet, however, I should be able to find it. Okay, let's have a look. There we go, contact us page. So these are the form colors and let's have a look how they will look with different color. So you can change these. I don't recommend changing them too dark, too white. You can add accent like, for example, this kind of delicate accent. And if you like what you see, simply click save.